Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're located. And thank you so much for joining us this afternoon uh, for Amtrak Vacation's presentation about life on board Amtrak. I'm so thrilled to be able to uh, discuss this with you folks today. Uh, my name is Colleen McCarthy, and I have the very great fortune to work here at Amtrak Vacations. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Life on board Amtrak is actually one of my favorite topics. Uh, so we'll hopefully give you a lot of great information, a lot of tips and tricks, and show you some of the fantastic vacations that you can take with us here on board Amtrak. And do stay tuned all the way through the presentation, please, because at the end, one lucky person will win a $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. Uh, so we'll announce that at the end of the presentation. And as well, for everybody who's listening today, I'm super excited to let you know that we have an exclusive discount, uh, an exclusive discount for our packages here at Amtrak Vacations, which we will give you that promo information at the end of the presentation today as well. Now, as you listen through, uh, please, please go ahead and type out any questions that you may have. Uh, you should see the question box on the side there where you uh, logged in for the webinar. Uh, so please do type questions throughout the presentation. I'll do my very best to answer as many as possible here at the end. And anything I don't have a chance to get to, uh, we'd be more than happy to reach out and, and give you some answers uh, after the show here. So please do ask questions throughout the presentation and uh, we'll get to those there at the end. And without any further ado, uh, I'd love to tell you guys a little bit about Amtrak Vacation. So why should you travel here with Amtrak Vacation? So this, for a lot of folks, really is a bucket list experience. So you may have done a cruise before, you may have traveled abroad, but so many people actually have not traveled here in our own backyard here in the U.S. And Amtrak is such a fantastic way to do that. You have room to roam aboard the train. You can get up and move around. It's a lot less hassle than uh, you may be accustomed to if you fly, as I sometimes have to do for work here. Uh, there is no crazy long security lines. You don't have to take out your laptops and your snack food and everything else to have them scanned. So it's much less hassle traveling with Amtrak. And they offer city-to-city -city service, which is really a great benefit of traveling on board Amtrak. You actually leave right from downtown in the city of your departure and you arrive right downtown in the center of all the action uh, to whatever city you're arriving into. So it's again very different from an airline where you may fly somewhere uh, and then have to take an hour-long shuttle to actually get into the city, right? Uh, with Amtrak you actually leave and depart right in the middle of the city so you're close to all the action and all of our hotel accommodations that we do include in our packages are typically located within just a mile or two from the train station so very convenient for you. Uh, we'll absolutely talk about satisfying your hunger so we'll talk about the dining car as we talk about the uh, onboard experience with Amtrak a little bit later on uh, but just to preview there that the dining on Amtrak is really excellent and Amtrak offers a lot of flexibility so in a lot of places they have daily departures or even multi times a day and Amtrak travels all over the US everyone so it travels to 46 out of the 48 uh, continental United States, as you can see here. I love to show this map because I think it just gives you a really beautiful picture of where you can go on board Amtrak. And you can see some of those very famous routes in the different colors there, particularly if you look at Chicago and kind of cast your eyes westward off to the uh, west coast, the Empire Builder, the California Zephyr, the Southwest Chief. We'll cover all these uh, beautiful train routes a little bit later on in the presentation. You can really see there, though, that you can travel all over the US with Amtrak. And you can actually start from any one of the 500 Amtrak stations. So they've got over 500 stations across the US. And even if you see a trip there advertised as starting from Chicago, you could take the train right from your hometown uh, and we can arrange that for you. Or you could certainly fly to the beginning or at the end of any trip. So a lot of folks will train you know, all the way across country and then they'll fly home at the end. Uh, so we have a lot of people do that as well. So do keep in mind that it's really flexible this travel with Amtrak and we can certainly customize any of our vacation packages to fit what you folks are looking for. 
Now we're just going to talk a little bit about some of the extra benefits of traveling on board Amtrak. Uh, it's really beautiful scenery, folks. So I mentioned some of those key routes that we'll look at a little bit later, but you're going to see some really spectacular scenery from the train. You can kick back and relax and let Amtrak do the driving, see the Rocky Mountains, the Pacific coastline, uh, some beautiful desert scenery, depending on which route you're traveling on. Either way, you get to skip the traffic and uh, really just relax. So there's no uh, terrible traffic jams on Amtrak. We keep going through uh, all kinds of weather and everything like that. And you don't have to worry about doing the driving. You can grab a drink in the dining car. You can have a meal. You can watch the scenery go by. It's really comfortable and relaxing way to travel. And in addition to that, you have a lot of freedom on board Amtrak to get up and move around so you're not trapped in that dreaded middle seat as you are on an airline. Uh, you're not stuck in the back seat of a car. You can get up, go to that beautiful lounge car that we saw on the previous slide. You can grab a snack from the cafe. You can sit down during a meal time in the dining car and have a nice fresh meal. Uh, so it's really a lovely way to travel. And again, I can't talk enough about the scenery. Um, you'll see a lot more of it as we go through. But if you fly, the clouds look the same no matter where you are in the world. When you take Amtrak, you can see the beautiful Pacific coast in that top picture there on the Coast Starlight train. You can see uh, vibrant cities like Chicago, New York, Seattle. You can see the beautiful Rocky Mountains either on the Empire Builder or the California Zephyr. So there's a lot of really fantastic scenery for you to soak up as you travel on board Amtrak. And we do have a travel style that will really fit whatever you're looking to do. So we have independent rail journeys. And basically what that is, it's a multi-city trip. So you can travel from New York to Chicago all the way out to the West Coast, stopping along the way in various cities. We also have rail experiences for those of you who are rail buffs and you're here today to really see what it's like to eat on board the train, sleep on board the train, really experience that train ride. We've got different vacations focused just on that. We have family adventures, which are fantastic for kids young and old. Uh, we've also got getaways. If you only have a few uh, days available, you've got a long weekend coming up, you can get away on Amtrak for a uh, weekend there. We do combine with some of the cruise lines. So you can take the train cross country and then take a beautiful cruise up to Alaska. And we can, again, customize any of these trips here to fit what you folks are looking for. Uh, so do keep in mind as I go throughout the presentation today, I've only got a limited amount of time to just show you a few of the highlights. Uh, but anything you're thinking of, we can really do here. If you call our vacation consultants or call your local travel agent, uh, I'd be more than happy to put something together for you. And of those uh, many trips that we'll look at today, our most popular destinations across America are definitely the national parks. So we've got some absolutely beautiful and stunning uh, national parks here in the US. And you can take Amtrak to most of them. So Glacier National Park, Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, Yosemite, you'll see uh, the parks are really fantastic. You can take Amtrak basically to the front door of the park in some cases. And we do have accommodations actually inside the national park at those national park lodges. So you're right in the center of all the action there. And uh, now we're going to start talking really about what it's like on board Amtrak. Uh, of course, that's the title here. And uh, I do want to give you as much information as I can. I've been very lucky and able to travel on several of the different routes across the country. Um, so when I talk about uh, traveling on board Amtrak, I want you to picture your luggage here. It's very different, again, from traveling on board an airline. You're allowed two free carry-on bags. And those are pretty generously sized carry-on bags, as you can see in the photo. He's uh, got some, <laughs> he's lifting on the train for these folks here. And as well, most of our trips, uh, you can check two bags in addition. So that's two carry on bagged bags, as well as two checked bags. Uh, now you do have to check the stations. If you're leaving from a small station nearby your home, they may not have checked baggage available, but all of the major stations across the US, all the big cities, most of the national parks as well, do have checked baggage available. So it's just something you wanna check with us. Uh, but 
Again, that's two carry-on bags as well as two checked bags. And when you are checking luggage on board Amtrak, uh, you don't need to be there several hours early. You can check bags right up until 45 minutes prior to the scheduled departure. So you don't need to rush. And do keep in mind, especially for long distance journeys, you know, if you're gonna be traveling overnight on board a train, when you check your bag, it is similar to when you fly, you won't see that specific bag again until you arrive at your destination. So let's say you board the train in Chicago's beautiful Union Station and you're traveling out to Glacier National Park. Uh, you won't see your checked bag until you arrive at Glacier Park. So you do want to keep in mind to bring a change of clothes, toiletries, any medication, anything that you need with you on board the train. You want to pack that in one of your carry-on bags. We'll get now into the different accommodations on board the train, uh, which is sort of what everyone wants to see here. All kinds of different rooms uh, available for you on board Amtrak, depending on your needs. And we'll start out here with the coach accommodations on board the train. So the coach accommodations, I actually don't even like the word coach because I think it makes you think of a cramped airline space and Amtrak cannot be further from that. As you can see here in this beautiful photo, you have tons of legroom. Um, I'm probably a little shorter than the gentleman in the photo, but I could not kick the seat in front of me. That's how much legroom you have on board Amtrak. You can also see that the seats do recline back and you have a little footrest as well. Uh, with Amtrak, it's great. There's two seats and then the aisle and then two seats. So there is no middle seat situation. You don't have to worry about that. You do have outlets at basically every seat. You can kind of see those there in the photo, as well as tray tables and, you know, lights and climate controls above your head there. And as well with the coach seating on board Amtrak, there is storage available for your luggage. So as we mentioned, you get those two free carry-on bags. Uh, right overhead, uh, you have the storage for those bags. So you could certainly keep a purse or laptop at your feet. Uh, and then any larger bags you can store overhead there. Now, when the conductor does come and check your tickets, which again, could be a paper ticket or an electronic ticket, you could actually pull it up right on your smartphone if you have one. If not, we're certainly happy to send you a paper copy. Uh, but you'd pull your ticket right up, he'll scan it, and then he'll mark your seat as occupied, which is great because as we'll see, there are lounge cars, dining cars, cafe cars, and different areas of the train. So you'll be able to go and visit those different areas of the train and then come back to your same seat in coach. Now, a lot of folks will choose to sleep in coach for an overnight on board the train, and as you saw, it's pretty comfortable. But if you are traveling longer distances, we do recommend that you look into the sleeping accommodations on board Amtrak, as they're very comfortable and pretty economical as well. So this uh, first sleeper that we're going to look at is called a roomette. So that's the smaller of the two main types of cabins on board Amtrak, but it's very comfortable. I can actually tell you I usually travel in a roomette when I travel on board the train. Uh, so during the day, it's two seats which face each other. So you can see the one seat here and the, the view of the camera is basically from the person sitting opposite her in the other seat. Uh, so during the day, again, it's two chairs. It's designed for one or two people traveling. She has a, you'll have a great big picture window there. You've got climate controls, outlets. Uh, in the evening, they're going to fold down into bunk beds. So one bottom bunk and one top bunk. And then with the roomettes, uh, some really great features. You have access to the restrooms and showers just down the hall. And now do keep in mind those restrooms and showers are shared only with the other folks who are in your car. So you're not sharing with the entire train. You're only sharing with the other roomettes in your car. And one of the great features of taking a sleeping accommodation on board Amtrak is that you do have assistance uh, from the sleeper car attendant. So each car has their own attendant, and these are some of the most fantastic Amtrak employees I've ever met, guys. They are really fantastic people. They care uh, deeply about their jobs. They will help you set up your beds at night, turn them back into chairs during the day. They're responsible for the restrooms, so they keep them nice and spick and span. Uh, so you really don't have to worry about that when you do take the roomette uh, on board the train. One of the nice features with that is only if you have the sleeping accommodations do you have access to the shower facilities. So if you folks are traveling in coach, of course you have restrooms available, but you don't have access to the shower facilities in coach. Uh, you do have them uh, if you take the roomette or the bedroom accommodations. You can see here another shot of the roomette. You can 
I really like this one because you can see just how big and beautiful that picture window is. So even if you wanna relax inside your room, you have an excellent view as you travel across the country. And then as I mentioned in the evening, it folds down into two beds. So there's a bottom bunk, and then you can see she's uh, sleeping on the top bunk here. And there are a couple little steps to help you get up uh, into the top bunk if you're worried about that. There's also like a little um, guardrail kind of thing you can set up if you're worried about rolling out, although I never have, and I've slept on the top bunk on more than one occasion. So <laughs> no need to worry about that. If you were looking for a little bit more space on board the train, uh, you could look into the bedroom accommodations. So the bedroom is the other main type of a sleeping accommodation on board Amtrak. It is a little bit larger than the roomette. Uh, during the day, it has a little love seat and then a freestanding chair. So you can sit across from each other as the couple is in this photo, or you could actually sit next to each other as well. Um, the great thing about the bedroom is that it does have its own in-room facility. So you've got a sink and a little vanity right in your room, as well as an enclosed toilet and shower that is private to your room. Uh, it's a bit small, but it is your private uh, accommodations there. So that's an excellent feature of the bedrooms if you were looking for something a little bit larger with a little bit more privacy. Uh, of course, you do have the sleeper car attendant with the bedroom as well. And then in the evening, it does fold down into bunk beds again. So one bottom bunk and one top bunk. And you can see uh, in the photos here that you have quite a lot of room actually on those bunks, especially on the bottom bunk, you can actually sit right up straight um, without too much difficulty there. So they're really very comfortable uh, accommodations, uh, either the roomette or the bedroom. And one of the great features about those rooms as well is that if you did take a sleeping accommodation on board Amtrak, all of your meals on board the train, when you're on the train for meal times, all of the meals in the dining car are included for you uh, with that roomette or bedroom upgrade. So it's a really great feature. We do have a family room available on board the train as well, which is suitable for two adults and two children. Uh, that's on certain trains. Not every train has that. But every train does have a handicapped accessible room. So if you did have mobility impairments, there is a room available uh, which does suit those needs too. So there's a lot of different accommodation types on board Amtrak. But regardless whether you take coach, a roomette, or a bedroom, anybody has access to the Sightseer lounge car. So most of Amtrak's long distance trains folks do have this beautiful lounge car. Uh, anybody who's traveling, if you remember that map from Chicago, basically westward, this is gonna be a double decker train. So you will have a double decker lounge car, which is pretty neat. As you can see, these guys on the picture here have a great view. They've got floor to ceiling windows, kind of domes up a little bit across the top there very comfortable plush seats. They swivel around so you can get the best view. Of course, the lounge car does have outlets as well, so you can charge those cameras or those phones. And um, really, it's a great place to sit back, relax, and socialize with your fellow passengers. Uh, you can see in this picture here that we've got some table accommodations as well. So if you wanted to grab a snack in between mealtimes and eat it in the lounge car, that's no problem. Um, as I mentioned, on those double-decker trains, uh, their top half here is the sightseeing car, and the bottom half is actually the cafe car. Uh, so we've got a brief shot of that here. The cafe car is a great place to grab a snack or a drink in between meal times on Amtrak. So they'll have coffee and soda. In the evening, they'll have uh, beer and wine as well, or a cocktail if you wanted to enjoy a cocktail as you watch the scenery roll by. You can also grab some food in here, chips, uh, sandwiches, that sort of thing, um, here in the lounge car, uh, the cafe, the bottom part. Uh, so this is a la carte, so you would just pay out of pocket for this. Uh, and then, of course, the dining car, as I mentioned, if you do have the roomette or bedroom or one of the other sleeping cabins uh, with the dining car, your, your meals are included, which, again, that's fantastic. But if you were going to be in a coach seat and you did want to visit the dining car on board the train, uh, you could certainly do so. You would just pay out of pocket there. Now, the dining on the train is really exciting. So if you do have... 
uh, long distance train. Most of Amtrak's long distance trains do have a full service dining car on board. As you can see in the photo there, uh, it's really very comfortable seating. You've got nice tablecloths, china, uh, you know, real glassware and everything. So it's a, an elevated experience for sure. Uh, those meals are prepared fresh on board the train for you typically. Now, breakfast is first come, first serve if you're on the train at breakfast time. But if you're on the train for lunch or dinner, typically they'll have you make a reservation. So they'll give you several different seating options. Somebody will come around to your room or to your seat uh, to take your reservations. And uh, you'll pick the 5 p.m. seating, for example, or the 7 p.m. seating. And they'll actually go ahead and make an announcement over the intercom on the train, which is going to call you all down uh, to the dining car for your seating. If you are traveling as a party of one or two, you may very well be seated uh, with another couple or another person on board the train for dinner, which is really a great way to communicate communicate with your fellow passengers. You meet some really neat and interesting people. I met a couple who was moving from San Francisco to Philadelphia. They were taking the train across to do that. I met a train engineer from London, England, <laughs> who ran the trains over there in the UK. So that was really fascinating. You meet all kinds of different fun and interesting people there in the dining car. If you are traveling as a smaller party, as I say, you may be seated uh, with another person, which is a pretty neat experience, actually. Uh, now, the dining car does serve wine and beer. That would just be something you would pay out of your own pocket if you did want a nice glass of wine during dinner. Um, and one thing I always kind of recommend to people, a little insider tip here, is check what time the sunset is going to be during your journey. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is actually book my dinner reservation a little bit later and uh, watch the sunrise go past as I have my meal and my glass of wine on board the train there. It's a really lovely, uh, a lot of fun experience there on board the train dining on Amtrak. So that's a little bit of a nutshell about what it's like to be on board the train. Uh, I really want to look at some of our specific examples, though, look at some of our specific destinations and some of Amtrak's specific routes to let you know a little bit more about that as you travel through uh, the U.S. onboard Amtrak. Uh, so we'll cover a couple of our different vacations that we offer here with Amtrak Vacations. And as I go through, again, please do ask questions uh, in the little box there. I'm more than happy to answer them at the end for you. I see we've got some great questions coming through already. So really good stuff there for you. One of my very favorite packages that we offer here at Amtrak Vacations is called Grand National Parks. And this is so spectacular because it hits three major national parks here in the U.S., three spectacular uh, sites with Yellowstone National Park, Yosemite National Park, and the Grand Canyon National Park. And it also covers three of Amtrak's very best train routes. So it covers the California Zephyr route, the Coast Starlight train, and the Southwest Chief. Uh, so we'll go through that there uh, for you. You can see this trip does start in Chicago with one overnight on the train out to Utah. And from Salt Lake City, that's how you travel up to Yellowstone National Park, where you spend a couple days before you do another overnight trip out to San Francisco. And from California, you visit Yosemite National Park before you take the Coast Starlight uh, between San Francisco and Los Angeles, which is one of the most beautiful stretches of scenery in the U.S. for sure. You take another overnight ride out to Arizona and visit the Grand Canyon before doing one more overnight on the train back to Chicago. So it's a pretty long trip, folks. It's a 13-day uh, trip there, but you get some of the best sightseeing in the U.S. and some really great train time, as I call it. Uh, you can really spend, you know, several nights on board the train there and really soak up that atmosphere. Uh, but Yellowstone National Park is one of the major sites that you see on board this trip. It's absolutely stunning. I just had one of my colleagues come back from this trip this past fall, and, uh, you know, he couldn't stop raving about the Yellowstone National Park and the tour that we put you on uh, during that trip is really spectacular. You see Old Faithful Geyser, of course. You can visit the park without seeing that. You also see some of these beautiful uh, geothermal pools, the bubbling mud pots, and all kinds of different wildlife. He was saying that actually on his trip, they had to pause their tour uh, to allow a herd of buffalo to cross the road. So he has some really spectacular pictures there from Yellowstone National Park. 
Uh, then you board the California Zephyr again and travel uh, over to San Francisco. And from San Francisco, we have you visit Yosemite National Park, which has got beautiful towering rock formations, uh, beautiful wildlife there in Yosemite National Park. Before you take Amtrak's Coast Starlight train from San Francisco on down to Los Angeles and then the Southwest Chief from Los Angeles over to the Grand Canyon. Now I had the very good fortune to be able to visit the Grand Canyon just a couple years ago with Amtrak, and it's absolutely fantastic. The train brings you right to Arizona. You take a short shuttle and then you take the amazing Grand Canyon railway train uh, right up to the South Rim itself. And we do include that train for you, of course, as well as the Freedom Room tour of the South Rim at the Grand Canyon. And that's a really spectacular tour, folks. They take you to this beautiful lookout here. Um, they take you to several lookouts actually during the tour and the guides are fantastic. They'll tell you all about how the canyon was formed, the significance to the native peoples, um, you know, all the different formations and all about the Grand Canyon area. So it's a really neat trip. You can see that steam engine and the slide here. It's a lot of fun. They've got a little Wild West cowboy show that they do. They actually come on board the train uh, and play music for you during that little excursion. And then of course you can't beat the absolutely breathtaking scenery there at the Grand Canyon. So as I mentioned, this trip there, it's a 13 day trip. It starts in Chicago, goes out to Yellowstone, Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, and then comes right on back to Chicago. And it does include a tour of each park, of course, uh, as well as your Amtrak accommodations, your hotel accommodations. And this one here does have three meals included for you, one breakfast and two dinners. So it's a really spectacular way to see some of the best national parks uh, here in the US. If you're also though interested in traveling across the US and also up into Canada, we've got some really neat uh, connections with Amtrak. It does travel uh, from Seattle up to Vancouver on the West Coast and then on the East Coast travels to Toronto and Montreal. So we do have this fantastic USA and Canada rail experience trip here, which actually has you travel from Chicago on Amtrak's famous Empire Builder route over to Seattle up to Vancouver, and then you would take the VRL, which is the Canadian train, all the way across Canada on down to Toronto. So that's a really neat experience, everyone. You get to travel both in the US and in Canada. You get to see the beautiful city of Vancouver, which is right on the water, but also nestled in the mountains. So it's really stunning scenery there in Vancouver. While you're there, we give you the hop on, hop off sightseeing tour, as well as admission to the Vancouver Lookout. So you can get some really fantastic panoramic photos there. And we have, of course, travel to Toronto as well, which has, again, the hop on, hop off sightseeing tour included, as well as admission to the CM Tower. So this is a great way to combine travel throughout the US and Canada. And again, that does highlight Amtrak's Empire Builder route, which we'll look at again in just a moment here. That's one of Amtrak's most famous routes. It travels along the northern part of the country through uh, Montana and Washington State, uh, starts in Chicago, ends up in Seattle, as you can see here on this trip, which highlights that route. This is our northern rail experience. This one is one of those rail experience packages that I mentioned, which is really tailored to you folks who are interested in spending a lot of time on board the train and just seeing the country from those beautiful uh, full windows there. So this starts in Chicago with two nights on board the Empire Builder train, uh, stop in Seattle for the night, and then you take Amtrak's Coast Starlight train from Seattle down to San Francisco. This is a beautiful trip down through the Cascade Mountains there. That's one overnight on board the train. We have you spend a couple nights in San Francisco because it's a beautiful place to get off the train and stretch your legs. And then you take Amtrak's California Zephyr from San Francisco to Chicago. So I had the very good luck to be able to take the Zephyr route this past summer, and I cannot speak highly enough about this train. It is considered, it's basically tied with the Coast Starlight for the most scenic route. I give it the edge, I have to tell you, it's my favorite route that Amtrak offers. When you leave San Francisco, you travel through the Sierra Nevada mountains, in uh, California there on into Nevada. You travel through some really beautiful, almost desert type scenery before you come into the Red Rocks in Utah and Colorado. It actually follows the Colorado River for over 300 miles as you climb up into the Rocky Mountains in Col 
Colorado and the Denver area uh, before you continue on to Chicago. So it's really breathtaking, beautiful scenery on that California Zephyr train. And again, you do the two full nights on board uh, that route. So you can really sort of relax and, and see some of that beautiful scenery. Make sure you have your cameras ready to take photos. I think I took literally hundreds <laughs> during that trip. Um, now the first city that you stop in is Seattle. Uh, so you do have the hop on hop off tour of Seattle included for you. And as I mentioned, uh, it does stop at three, or it does include, sorry, three of the most scenic routes there on board Amtrak uh, for you to experience on this Northern Rail experience. Uh, after Seattle, you do stop in San Francisco for two nights, and we've got some great sightseeing included in San Francisco for you as well. Uh, so we've got the Hop On Hop Off sightseeing tour included. Now, if you folks are not familiar with the Hop On Hop Off tour, those are a great way to get around the city. Basically, how it works is you get a pass on these Hop On Hop Off buses that travel throughout the city pretty much every 20 to 30 minutes. So you can get on nearby your hotel. You can take the Hop On Hop Off to the Painted Ladies, as you can see here, for some great photos. Get off the tour. Uh, take your photos, you know, spend some time in the park, and then get back on the next uh, bus to come by. Ride that down to Fisherman's Wharf, get off the bus, have some fantastic clam chowder, um, maybe a sourdough bread bowl at the Bedeen factory, or, you know, head on down to Pier 39 and take in the sights there. And then you get on the next bus that comes by and ride it to Chinatown, for example. So you can really make a great uh, trip around the city while you're on the tour. It is narrated for you. So you have uh, people telling you all about, you know, the different sites that you're seeing as you're traveling by them. And it's a great way to uh, get around without having to navigate a foreign city's, uh, you know, metro system or anything like that. Um, we also, for San Francisco, include a tour of the Muir Woods, which are these spectacular grove of redwood trees right outside of San Francisco. And as well, a sightseeing cruise to get you out on the bay, out on the water, since you're in California, you've got to get out on that Pacific Ocean there. So this is the Northern Rail experience. This is, again, one of my favorite trips here. Uh, it's a nine-day trip. It does Chicago to Seattle to San Francisco, and then back to Chicago on three of Amtrak's most famous routes. That's the Empire Builder, the Coast Starlight, and the California Zephyr. You do have the sightseeing and the two different stops, Seattle and San Francisco, as well as one dinner included for you here. And as I mentioned before, I do just want to highlight it again. You can customize any of these trips to fit your needs. For example, if you wanted to stop off in Denver on the way home on that Northern Rail experience and see Rocky Mountain National Park, we could easily set that up for you. If you wanted to spend time in Chicago at the end of the trip, we could add that. Or we could add the rail from your hometown to get you started at the beginning or uh, to get you home at the end. So it's really customizable. We can go ahead and... Uh, tweak these packages to how whatever fits your uh, vacation requirements. So just let our vacation consultant or your local travel agent know when you're uh, inquiring about the trip and we can certainly make those adjustments for you. Uh, of course, I could not have a presentation here about Amtrak scenic routes and life on board without talking about Glacier National Park. So again, folks, this is that Empire Builder route, that famous route uh, across the northern uh, part of the U.S. Uh, starts here in Chicago, where you spend two nights. You do one overnight on board the train out to Glacier National Park. Uh, while you're there, you spend three nights in the park because it's such a beautiful and breathtaking place that we want you to be able to experience everything the park has to offer. You do one more overnight on board the train, and then you spend two nights there at Seattle at the end of your trip. Uh, now, you may have been noticing a pattern here where a lot of our vacations start or end or both in Chicago. That is because Chicago is one of Amtrak's major hubs. So most of the train routes do connect uh, in and through Chicago. Uh, but it's also a really fantastic city to visit. If you haven't been, I can't recommend it highly enough. It's bright and clean and the people are so nice and uh, in this particular trip we include the sightseeing architecture cruise which is one of my favorite activities there in Chicago. Uh, it's great on a beautiful sunny day like this. You get on one of the little boats on the pier and they actually take you out on the Chicago River. You go uh, under a lot of those famous bridges and they point out some really amazing and spectacular architecture there. Of course Chicago is known uh, for its architecture.
So you spend two nights in Chicago with this package. Make sure you get a deep dish pizza while you're there. Uh, there is a great place nearby the station. Uh, before you board that train and head out to Glacier National Park. So again, this is the Empire Builder route. And so we do recommend, you know, that you look into the roomette or the bedroom accommodation on board the train. You'll leave Chicago in the afternoon. So you've got time for dinner that night and then you travel throughout the day. So you'll have breakfast and lunch before you get to Glacier National Park uh, the following day there. In Glacier National Park, the train is gonna bring you literally to the front door of the lodge. So it's about 205 steps from the train station to the front door of the National Park Lodge. So it couldn't be closer. We have you stay at that beautiful historic park lodge right inside the park. Uh, and we have two fantastic tours for you while you're there in Glacier Park. So we have the Two Medicine Valley Boat Cruise, which takes you out on a glacially carved lake. You can kind of get a sense of that scenery in the photo there. And then we have the Big Sky Circle Tour, which is absolutely fantastic. It's in this historic, um, kind of looks like they took one of those red Jeeps and stretched it way out. It's called a Jammer. Um, it's an open top uh, experience, unless it rains, and then they've got a top to close, don't worry. Uh, but it doesn't rain too much in the summer in Glacier Park. Uh, that Big Sky Circle Tour is gonna actually take you on the Going to the Sun Road, which is a famous and historic road uh, that goes travels all the way up and winds through the mountains. Uh, it's really beautiful full day tour there in Glacier National Park. Uh, and then you board Amtrak's Empire Builder on to Seattle to end your trip. And you have two nights there in Seattle. So we do include with this one, the Space Needle, as well as the Glass Garden exhibit, and a multi-day pass on that hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour. <clears throat> so that is the Glacier National Park Express Package. Uh, that's a 10-day tour there, so two nights Chicago, overnight on the train, Glacier Park for three nights, overnight uh, to Seattle and two nights there. And we do have the different sightseeing included in each one of those cities. And I can't talk about Amtrak without talking about one of its most famous, or at least most sung about routes, which is called the City of New Orleans train. Uh, you may remember the Arlo Guthrie, or I think Willie Nelson covered it as well, song, City of New Orleans. Uh, that's really um, musically themed here. So we've got this fantastic trip from Chicago to Memphis, and New Orleans. We call it the Jazz Blues Rock and Roll trip there. It has you spend two nights first in Chicago, travel overnight on board the train to Memphis, Tennessee, where you spend two nights, and then take a daytime trip from Memphis to New Orleans, and you've got three nights there in New Orleans. So this is a really great trip, especially if you're not maybe looking to do five nights on Amtrak right out of the gate. Uh, this one just has one overnight on the train, so again, you can experience your own sleeping cabin, get dinner, uh, and then take a daytime ride from Memphis to New Orleans. So it's really comfortable and um, a lot of time spent in the cities, not just on the trains as well. So again, two nights there in Chicago, where we have you do the multi-day hop on, hop off sightseeing tour. So it gets, again, pretty fantastic. You can take it down to Navy Pier, you know, all over the city there. One of the great things about Amtrak is that if you do upgrade to the roomette or the bedroom accommodations on board the trains, you do have access to an upgraded uh, lounge there at many of Amtrak's major stations. So Chicago's Union Station is absolutely beautiful historic station there in Chicago. And if you do have a roomette or a bedroom, another perk of having that upgraded accommodation is that you can spend time in Amtrak's first class lounge uh, during while you wait for your train. So there's snacks available, very comfy seats there in the lounge. And uh, this train does leave Chicago, the city of New Orleans, leaves in the evening. So you can actually board the train a little bit early so you can have dinner on board the train uh, before it travels down to Memphis, Tennessee overnight. So you get on the train, have dinner, get settled into your room. When you wake up in the morning, you will be in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, so very convenient, comfortable ride there. Memphis is such a fun city, you folks. Uh, you can see there on the picture, we've got a photo of Beale Street where we've got all kinds of live music, pretty much every genre you can imagine. Uh, they've got playing there in Memphis. And while you're in Memphis, we include the city tour uh, with admission to Graceland because of course you cannot visit Memphis without visiting the home of the king of rock and roll, 
Elvis Presley. Uh, so we do include not only the city tour, but also the transportation and the tour of Graceland for you as well while you're in Memphis. And then you hop back on the city of New Orleans train and take a daytime ride down to New Orleans itself. Now we have you spend three nights in New Orleans because it's an absolutely gorgeous city. One of my favorite places uh, in the US actually. Um, and while you're there, we have you get right out on the Mississippi River on an old fashioned paddle wheel boat. So you can see the city from the river as so many people did uh, you know, historically as they traveled down to New Orleans. It's a really nice ride, beautiful. Um, way to see New Orleans and just spend a great afternoon. And then of course we include a city tour for you there as well so you can learn all about the amazing and fascinating history and architecture and food and music and everything that New Orleans has to offer. Again, if you folks are music buffs at all, there's live music on every corner uh, there in New Orleans. So this is our jazz, blues, and rock and roll trip. It's a nine-day trip there from Chicago down to Memphis and then on down to New Orleans. And we include the sightseeing in each one of those cities, as well as the um, hotel and Amtrak accommodations. Now, as I mentioned before, we can customize these packages to fit your needs. And so I do want to let you know we have all kinds of different hotel options available. As I mentioned before, Amtrak does include city to city service. So you are typically arriving right in the center of the action. So Union Station in Chicago is, you know, right downtown, super close to the museums and the waterfront there. And all of our hotels are typically located within one to two miles of that train station just to be extra convenient for you. So you could actually, in a lot of cases, walk to the hotel from the train station, or if it's a little further away, you could grab a very short and inexpensive taxi. Uh, so these packages, folks, typically we don't include the transfer from the train station to the hotel because they are so close by. Um, all of Amtrak's major stations do have a taxi stand right out front, so you can actually have somebody flag you a taxi. It's usually a very short and uh, convenient ride for you from the station to your hotel, or like I say, in a lot of cases, you could even walk. Uh, certainly Glacier National Park, like I said, it's only about 200 steps from the train station uh, right up to the front door of the lodge there. And the other great thing about Amtrak Vacations is we can get you a hotel in the center of the action where you want to be. So if for example, when you're visiting New Orleans, we have a lot of hotels in and right around the French Quarter, which is where most folks want to stay. Uh, New York City, we've got hotels, you know, in Times Square. Chicago, you could stay on Magnificent Mile, or you could stay closer to the museum campus, depending on what you're really interested in for sightseeing. Um, so there's all kinds of different options available for you. And just speak to our vacation consultant or to your local travel agent, and we'll be more than happy to make those arrangements where you want to stay. Now, of course, we've looked at some of these great long trips cross country, 9, 10, 13 day uh, trips here. But if you only have a couple days, you can certainly still travel with Amtrak vacations. You can get away for a weekend or just a couple days with one of our getaways. So we can add the rail from your hometown to places like New York City, Washington, D.C., Niagara Falls, San Francisco, you know, somewhere in your, your neighborhood there, we can get you a train and you can go away just for a long weekend. I know we've got one coming up sort of at the end of the summer here. We just had one with Memorial Day. Um, so certainly look into that as well. Uh, it'll be a great little first introduction to Amtrak. Now I do get a lot of the same questions uh, in these uh, presentations, so I do want to tackle just a couple right away. And then as I mentioned, I will absolutely uh, answer any questions you folks have as well. But a lot of people do ask if you can begin the packages in one city and just do a portion of the trip. So let's say uh, you love the rail experience, but maybe six days on a train is a little much. You could easily start uh, about halfway through, right? And uh, start in Seattle, take the train down to, San Fran and then across to Chicago. You can skip that first route, that's no problem. Um, similarly, if you live in Chicago and it's one of the trips that includes hotel nights there, uh, you know, we could make those arrangements for you or you could choose to leave that, that piece off there. So we can certainly customize the trips however you like. Uh, hotels are absolutely included in these uh, itineraries that we've all been looking at. So anytime I've had you get off the train and spend time, not only do you, of course, get a sightseeing tour of your city, we do include the accommodations as well uh, in part of our packages here. 
You can certainly add days in the national parks to these itineraries as well. I know maybe a few of you looked at uh, Yellowstone and said, oh my gosh, two days in Yellowstone, that's it. We can easily add three, four days uh, there in the parks for you if you want to get out and do some more exploring. Um, now, folks do tend to ask, you know, can you bring food on board Amtrak? So certainly you can bring food and soft drinks and water and things like that on board wherever you are on the train. But if you did want to bring, you know, a bottle of wine maybe for the evening, uh, you do need to have one of your own private rooms. So a roomette or a bedroom uh, if you did want to bring on, um, you know, uh, alcoholic beverages, those do need to be uh, enjoyed privately in your room. Uh, but you can certainly do that if you have a roomette or a bedroom. And then folks do ask how many sleeping rooms there are on each train. Well, that definitely depends on which train you're traveling on, East Coast or West Coast. It also depends on the time of year and how many cars are attached to the train that day. Uh, but they do tend to sell out. So there are only five bedrooms per car on the West Coast trains, and there's only two bedrooms per car on the East Coast trains. Uh, so if you folks are interested in a roomette or a bedroom, I definitely encourage you to reach out to us as soon as you know when you want to travel so that we can get those reserved for you early. Also, you do get the best pricing on the train if you book early, which is a little fun fact. Um, and I do want to just show you folks a couple slides here of AmtrakVacations.com because I only had time to talk about five or so trips here, uh, but we have hundreds of trips across the U.S. with Amtrak, everything from the two-day journey all the way up to the three-week trip cross-country and back. Uh, so if you do know where you want to go, uh, we've got a great tab here, it's highlighted in yellow there, called Destinations. If you know you want to go to the Grand Canyon, you can click on that Destinations tab, pick the Grand Canyon, and see every trip that we offer there on the Grand Canyon, or to the Grand Canyon, rather. But if you want to travel instead, focusing on a certain Amtrak train route, uh, maybe you loved my description of the California Zephyr and you can't wait to try it, you can actually search by train route as well. And uh, it'll show you all of our trips which feature the California Zephyr or the Coast Starlight or the Empire Builder, some of these beautiful scenic uh, train rides with Amtrak. And as well, for everything I talked about today and a lot more, uh, we've got a great tab on the website called Trip Planning. So you can click on the Trip Planning uh, page and see uh, the baggage guidelines. You know, I mentioned two free carry-on bags and two checked bags. You can actually get the dimensions and the weight restrictions there. Uh, you can also see more about what it's like on board the train with meals and dining and Wi-Fi and uh, things like that. Um, we have these fantastic virtual tours that you can take inside the train. So it actually will show you 360 degree views of the lounge car or the dining car or the bedroom or the roomette. So you can really kind of see what it's like inside the train. So there's some great features on the website. That's <clears throat> www.amtrackvacations.com. Uh, or you could easily give us a call if you have any questions. We've got some really fantastic vacation consultants here who have all traveled on board Amtrak. So do give us a call. We'd be happy to book any of the holidays you've looked at so far today. You could visit our website or please do contact your local travel agent. They're great uh, sources of knowledge for you and very great people to help arrange your Amtrak vacation, any other flights or anything else you want to do with it as well. Now, Amtrak does offer some great everyday discounts. So for children ages uh, 2 to 12, they receive a 50% discount on the rail portion of our Amtrak vacations. For seniors age 65 and older, it's a 10% discount on the rail portion of our Amtrak vacations packages. And for military families, so active duty personnel and their spouse and dependents, uh, they do receive a 10% discount on the rail portion of our Amtrak vacations packages as well. So keep those in mind. And then I also, as I promised at the beginning, have an extra special discount just for you folks who are attending the webinar today. So that exclusive attendee discount is uh, saving $100 per couple or 50 per person if you're going solo. Uh, $100 per couple savings when you upgrade to a sleeping accommodation on a rail package here with Amtrak Vacations. And the promo code for that is LIFE on board one. You should be able to see that there on your screen. Just give that promo code to our vacation consultant or to your travel agent when you call to make the reservation. 
And again, just to recap for you guys, the sleeping accommodations on board Amtrak, that's the roomette or the bedroom. Typically, uh, those do include your own private uh, cabin. You do have access to the washrooms and showers. You have a sleeper car attendant to help take care of you during your journey. You've got beds to sleep in at night. All of your meals are included on board the train when you're on the train at meal time. And you have access to those exclusive lounges in places like Chicago um, and New York. So you've got access to those exclusive lounges with priority boarding. So it's a great value to upgrade to the sleeping accommodation if you are going to be traveling overnight on board the train. And we make it a little extra sweet for you just because you spent your last hour with me talking about life on board Amtrak. So that's a $100 savings per couple. And again, that promo code is life on board one. So please take a quick note of that and give that to the travel consultant or to your local travel agent when you call to make the booking. And now for the part you've all been waiting for, which is the announcement of the winner of our $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. And the winner of that gift card is Marilyn Fields. So Marilyn, congratulations. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, one of our, my colleagues will be in touch with you shortly regarding your, uh, your $100 Amtrak Vacations gift card. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who joined me today. I'm so happy to be able to tell you about a little bit about life on board Amtrak. And uh, we do have a little bit of time left here, so I am going to go ahead and see, try and get to as many questions as possible. And again, if I don't answer your question, somebody will definitely reach out to you and uh, let you know. So I've got uh, several questions here, several really good questions. <laughs> I'm going to try and get to as many as possible. Um, so Susan asks, are you assigned seats in coach? Great question, Susan. Typically, you're not. Typically, the coach seating is first come, first serve. But as I mentioned, they will go ahead and mark your seat so that you can get up, go to the dining car, the lounge car, and come back to your same coach seat. A great question here from Elaine. Um, can meals be served in the sleeping car? So good question. So typically you would travel down to the dining car on board the train and have your meal there. But certainly if you're mobility impaired or just didn't feel up to making the journey, your sleeper car attendant could certainly arrange for you to have your meal uh, in your room. So in your room or your bedroom, they could bring you the meal. That's no problem. Let's see here. We've got another question from Larry who asks, can you start in the middle of a rail experience? So great question. Absolutely you can. So that northern rail experience goes as advertised, right, from Chicago to Seattle to San Francisco. But if you live in the California area, you could certainly start that trip in San Francisco, travel out to Chicago, up to Seattle, and then back down uh, to San Fran. So you could certainly do it that way as well. Um, so definitely just let our travel consultants uh, or your local travel agent know, and we could make those arrangements for you. We've got another question here from Kimberly who asks, uh, when can she book Amtrak vacations? So that's a really good question. We actually have most of these trips that we looked at today available out as far as the beginning of 2020. And as I mentioned, please do book early. So as soon as you know when you want to go uh, or where you want to go, do give us a call because those roomettes and bedrooms do sell out, especially in the summer months. Um, if you guys are interested in summer travel, um, you know, Give us a call, especially if you want to go this year. But we also have the trips available to book early for next year as well. And you do get the best rates if you book early. I've got a question here from Barbara. Can you get a roomette as a solo passenger? Great question, Barbara. Um, you can certainly get a roomette as a solo passenger. So even though the room is designed for up to two people, if I reserve the room myself, it is my own private room. So I won't be sharing with anybody else. Uh, I've reserved, you know, room number 10 and room number 10 is uh, my roomette. And that's, you know, just for me for the duration of the journey. So really good question.
All right, folks, looks like I've got time for just about one more question. And again, as I mentioned, if I didn't get to your question today, I'm so sorry, we've got so many, uh, but please do reach out to us uh, by phone. It's 1-800-268-7252 or contact your local travel agent. Uh, we're standing by and, and ready to help you here. I do have a question from Kelly who wants to know uh, if they do have vegetarian options in the dining car. So great question. I didn't mention it, but they do have special menus in the Amtrak dining car specifically for vegetarians and they also do have kosher meals available. For any other dietary restrictions, you know, if you're gluten free or need low salt or something like that, you would just want to speak to the attendant in the dining car to your, you know, your server there. Um, in the dining car and they can you know speak with the chef and find out what uh, meals would be best for you um so they do have a vegetarian menu they do have a kosher uh, option available and for any other dietary restrictions just speak with the staff on board they're really fantastic guys i can't say you know speak highly enough about amtrak staff they're really friendly and really accommodating and they just want you to have a great vacation so thank you so much for joining me today i really appreciate it and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Thank you.